Hello everybody, Crips here and thanks again for joining me. So this will be lesson number six on particle illusion. So what are we doing today? Well I'm going to teach you about stencils or masking. So let's say you have a picture and you want to apply an emitter only in the window area. You don't want it to go anywhere. So if I was to add, I don't know, yeah that looks pretty bad. <laughs> if I was to press play you would see that it just goes all over the photo and that's not what we want we want it just to be uh, inside this window frame so how do we go about doing that well I'm going to create a stencil that's right a stencil let me get rid of that image I don't need that so first off you're going to need a, a paint editor in my case I'm using Photoshop CS5 and as you can see the photos here already so what I need to do is then create a layer so first thing, uh, I'm going to go over here, create a new layer. Now, if, I don't know what software you're using, so I can't uh, give you a tutorial on how to use your software. But I'm just going to teach you how to make a stencil. So, okay, so I need to make this new layer completely black. Because I'm going to then basically chroma key that out later. So I'm going to turn down my opacity so I can see my house again. And then I'm going to cut out the frame. Make sure you're on your second layer. Control Enter, Delete, Control D. Now I'm going to crank up my opacity right back to 100. And there it is. I've just created the stencil. So let's remove the picture of the house. You will now see I have created the stencil. So any emitter I apply will only come inside this area. All right, so this is important. You need to save this so it can be used as an alpha channel. So go save for web or devices, or whatever way you need to save it. And you save it as a PNG24. If you save it in any other format, watch what happens. Right now you can see it's transparent. If I go to JPEG, uh, I now have filled it in with a, a solid white. And once it's in with a solid white, I can't use that. So make sure you save it into a format on your favorite painting editor that it does become transparent. All right, I don't need to save this because I've done that already. So I'm going to go to Particle Illusion, and I'm going to apply that layer onto my photo. So left, uh, right click, New Layer. Double click onto the gray area from your new layer, and let's find that stencil. And here's my stencil. Press OK. All right, so my stencil is here, but it's now blocked out my picture, and all that you can see is the basically the whole cutout from the stencil. So I need to make this transparent so you can see the house again. Right click, transparency, and it basically asks you here, use image as stencil, click OK, and voila, there's my house again. Now let's find that same emitter I used before, this spiral, whatever it is, and let's place it in here. Let's place a few so we can really get the effect going. And if I press play, you will see, oh, I'm slightly off. Uh, let me just get that sorted for us. Here we go. If I press play, you can see now that the emitter are only playing within that window. So that's how you can apply an effect in a certain area of a photo by using a stencil. And you can come up with some pretty cool, th uh, pretty cool stuff like I did here. Um, with Crips, I created the name Crips on a stencil. And let's say I just want this to be in a corner somewhere. And if you're using your video editing software, all you need to do is chroma key out the black, right? So double click, mask chroma key, get rid of that black. Let's crank that right up so it becomes nice and solid. And watch what happens. There you go. That's pretty cool, right? And that again, I'm using a stencil, I saved it. Uh, lower thirds, why not create a lower third? Like so, there's my lower third. And I'm going to fit, keep my aspect ratio and I'm going to fit to screen. Uh, mask and chroma key that out and there's my lower third. It's, yeah, if I press play you'll see what I mean, I've created a lower third and I can just add in any text I want. So double click and I'll just call it Crips channel hope I spelt that right if not then I'm gonna come across retarded and bam 
project and play. So there you go. I've created the lower third, which is animated, and that looks pretty cool. So by just using a, a photo editor or a painting editor, you can come up with some pretty cool stuff. Here's my Crips, just to preview, I created the stencil and then, like I did before, saved it as a PNG 24 format. Uh, I hope this uh, will give you something to play with, come up with some pretty cool stuff. And as always, thanks for watching.